Hey guys, and welcome to another ICH2 review. It's been ages since I've done one of these. Um, this video has been shot just before Christmas. I don't know when I'm actually going to upload it. Uh, probably sometime in the new year. But look at this. If you'll remember, if you can cast your mind way back to one of the mailbox videos in the summer, a very nice guy who was studying in, on the south coast, uh, but was actually from China, sent in this particular model. And wow, what a model it is. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. N not in real life or in model form. It's HO scale, it's not double O, I'm pretty sure it's HO. Yeah, there we go, so it's 187, not 176. But they both use the same gauge of track. So even though the scale is slightly different, and for it to be double O, it would have to be a little bit bigger, it will run on the same rails. That's just the photo in there, that's not actual track. <laughs> um, okay, so what is it? Yes, what is it? Um, let's have a look. It's a detailed model for adult collectors. Colors and contents may vary, produced in China, blah, 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 blah. There we go. It's a Solia. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got that right. The G is not pronounced. It's Solia. Uh, basically, that's Italian for uh, the soulfish. Um, and that was a nickname that they were given because they were flat. You see how flat they are? Um, it's a marshalling tractor. A marshalling tractor series 208. Now, these are odd. <laughs> we do not get these in the UK. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, if I'm wrong, please do correct me. I have done my little bit of research. I have, done, I have made some notes just to the side. Um, right. Okay, well, it was made by Brewer. I think it's... Brea or Brewer, basically an Italian company. They were made in Italy. I'm talking about the real thing, not the model. The model is made in China by Hornby International, well, River Rossi. Um, but in real life, they were made in Italy. They were used all over Europe, uh, Germany, Australia. Australia? That's not Europe. <laughs> Austria. <laughs> Austria, yeah. In Will's world, Australia is part of Europe. Uh, they were used in Germany, Austria, Finland, and I think even places like Switzerland and stuff. So that's, that's quite amazing. Um, petrol and diesel engines. It was a Fiat engine, and it was only capable of producing about 10 to 80 horsepower. That's nothing. I know people with cars that have got like five or ten times that. Uh, so that really isn't very much. Um, but despite that, they were capable of hauling loads of about uh, 80 to 500 tons, which is pretty impressive. Um, built in, well, built, they started building these in 1931, right through to 1952, and they were using them right up until 1984. How incredible is that? So I was actually alive and on the surface of this planet when they were still using them. I think that's pretty cool. They were used quite a lot during World War II. And in fact, in World War II they were used in the northern parts of Africa and that's where they got the nickname Sardine Can. They got the nickname Sardine Cans. As you can see, it does look a little bit like a sardine can. Well, to be honest, it looks nothing like a sardine can. But I suppose in terms of train formations, train shapes, yes, it's more like a sardine can than, say, a pendolino. Um, okay, yeah, Fiat engines, chain-driven, uh, linked to a four-speed gearbox. Um, because of that, and partic in particular because of the tiny wheels, and they are tiny, it could only do about 18 to 24 miles per hour, which is not very fast. But, I mean, for a marshalling tractor, for essentially a, a, the, the world's smallest shunting loco, um, you're not going to need very much speed, are you? So, so a huge thumbs up and a huge thank you to, I think his name is Shuhoi. Um, I, I probably got that totally wrong. Um, I know his surname is Chen, and he was studying on the south coast of England. Uh, and unfortunately, he went back to China at the end of the summer. And so this is going to have to be mailed to China now, rather than the south coast of England. But hey, it's fine, it's cool. Uh, thank you so much for sending this in. I, it really has taught me something new and opened my, opened my eyes to the world of weird and wonderful HO scale trains. Um, right, let's get the box open. 
Okay, I've no idea if the guy who sent this in has actually opened it before. I hope so, I assume so, but I really don't know, so I'm going to be really careful and really gentle, just in case. It's not packaging that we're used to. Um, maybe that's something to do with it being River Rossi and Hornby International, I don't know. Oh, gosh, look at that. I'm going to be ever so gentle. Wow! Uh, I've never seen um, anything held held in place with one of these before. So I'm just going to gently unscrew this. There we go. Oh, it's like one of those that you uh, put on the back of computer panels and things. Right. Wow! What a quality little thing! Oh my gosh, has this actually got a motor in it? I will be flabbergasted if it has. Yeah, it has! It must have! It feels heavy enough. There's even lights! No way! Are they going to actually light up? Oh my gosh! Sorry, apologies if the rain is intruding into this video. There is a constant wintry drizzle outside and there's not much I can do about it, so um, I do apologise for that. But back to the model! Wow! I, I, I don't know what to say! Just look at this! I've, I've never held anything like this in my life! This, this is a channel first! Look, how is this even possible? I mean, that's not a train! That's not... It's not anything! Is it actually made of atoms? I mean, how is this... I mean... I... <laughs> <sighs> right, calm down, Will. <sighs> From the top. Okay, what have we got? Well... We've got some incredible levels of detail for a model that's about the size of a, a hedgehog's brain or something. I mean, just look at this. We've got lights there, and I bet they do light up. There is this really strange sort of like coupling mechanism, where the, the coupling mechanism actually extends down from the face of the locomotive, if you could call it a locomotive, and then you've got uh, the buffers, which seem to swing. Uh, I guess that's useful for um, going around tight corners and things, maybe? I don't know. It is a marshalling tractor after all. And then on the other side, it's exactly the same thing. Again, more lights, this really bizarre sort of coupling mechanism, and then you can see down at the bottom these tiny, tiny wheels, which, they well, they do have resistance. They are definitely connected to some sort of motor. Now, if I look inside... Um, is that... are they controls? No way. Have they actually detailed the inside? Okay, either they are blowing us away and they have put detail in the cab, or that's basically the top of the chip. That's the top of the... Um, the actual motor, the actual unit inside that makes everything work. I really don't know. I couldn't comment. Um, I'm not going to open it up. I'm very thank you, very thankful to the very kind Chinese gentleman that has sent this model in, but I am not going to open it up. I will leave that to him. Um, God, I just... I can't get over this. Um, <laughs> Hornby, are you watching? I know you are. And so are you, Backman. <laughs> just look at what this model achieves. It's it's just phenomenal, isn't it? It is it is just incredible. How wonderful to have directional lighting, a cab, coupling mechanisms. Sp well, no, they're not sprung buffers. They're swing buffers. <laughs> We've got an IC82 first, folks. Swing buffers. Yep, it comes with swing buffers. <laughs> and. Um, actual tiny little powered wheels. That is amazing. Made in China, and that's where it's going back to. Right, look at that. Look at even the exhaust. So you've got all the rivets there along the roof, and then you've got an exhaust there. Look, grills on the side. That must be where the engine is. That must be the petrol or um, diesel engine. Must be. Wow. Oh my gosh, what a model! I'm being ever so gentle, ever so careful. Right, I know you're all waiting for this. Let's put it on the track and see how it runs. Okay, so here I am at the test layout and the conservatory. We have 
Ta-da! For the first time, the addition of a Lego loop as well, so watch out for some videos on that coming up in the future. Certainly the new year, depending on whenever you watch this. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. I can't... I mean, what? <laughs> the camcorder's just sending a message back on the screen saying, yeah, go on then, put something on the track. I have, it's there. Put something on the track. When are you putting something on the track? I have, I've done it, it's there. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is zoom the camcorder in a little bit. Here we go. Nice and steady. That'll do. Um, right. <laughs> Let's get this bad boy moving. <laughs> Let's give it some juice. So I select direction and then give it some juice. Let's see what happens. Mm. Nothing so far. Uh, Okay. Hey, no, it does work. I'm back, folks. It just needed a little bit of encouragement. Maybe because it's not ran for a long time. Maybe because it's never ran. I don't know. But watch. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> that is amazing. And watch for the lights. We were right about the lights. They do work. They're directional. I'll get it to come this way. Look. Oh my gosh, um, I have, honestly, thank you so much for sending this in. I, oh, I've never seen anything like it, look. That's about as fast as it will go, I think. Um, I, I don't want to take the controller too far because it just doesn't look like it's cut out for it, to be honest. But look at those lights. Oh my gosh, right. Okay, let's give this thing a bit of a haulage test. I'm going to go grab a single mega box and see if it can haul it. Ta-da! Ha! The wonders of editing. Okay, let's do... I mean, surely not. It's just not possible. Surely. Let's get it to couple up and see what happens. Okay, um, if that's even possible. Right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to very carefully put the tension hook inside inside the actual um, the, the, the hoop that of the uh, of the shunting loco right okay I'm gonna position the camera a little bit further down the line so we get a good view change direction are you ready for this <laughs> oh here we go <laughs> No way! Wow! Can it push as well? Surely not. Hey, it can! Oh my god! That's just so weird! <laughs> it's tiny, it's like... It's like someone's taken um, a class 20 or something and then They've sliced it up like a cake and gone, right, there we go, lads. I've made uh, six Class 20s for you. Uh, we'll call them Class 20 A's. And it's, it's much more economical this way. <laughs> Honestly, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, my gosh. Is it going to go over the express points? Oh, I think I did them too late. Hang on. Okay, we're ready to go again. Here we go. Oh, give it a little bit of a... Oh, there we go. Yes. Uh, here comes the dead zone. Oh, no. It did die on the dead zone, but that is completely understandable. I mean, look how tiny this thing is. It's, it's, the dead zone is about the same size as it, actually. That is understandable. Yep, that's right folks. You knew I had to do it eventually. I have got all five mega boxes hooked up to this tiny little shunter. It's just not possible, surely. Don't worry, I'm not gonna damage it. If I if I sense for even a second that it's not cut out to do this, I'll kill the power because I don't want to do any damage to the model or the motor. But I'm just curious to see whether it can it can actually do it. Okay, here we go then. Time to apply some power. 
Oh, no. See? Nothing at all. Five is too much. I'll take a couple off and see what happens. There we go. We've got a break in the train. It's just three mega boxes and the River Rossi marshalling shunter now. Uh, just going to hoist the cable over the track. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, no, still too much. I'll take another one off. Right, so we're down to just two mega boxes. But I have just noticed we are on a bit of a curve, so that might not be helping. Let's give it some power. Oh, nearly. In fact, if I just give it a bit of a push. No. Maybe it's the curve. I'll move it onto the straight and see if it can do it on the straight. Okay, so we're on the straight. I'm ready to give it a bit more power. But it has just been pointed out, it is uphill. So, um, again, it might struggle. Let's see. Nope. It can do it. Only just. Look at this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, and kill the power there. Okay, and then let's get it to come back down the line again as well. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, much easier. Just look at this, folks. How... How bizarre is that? You just... You wouldn't think it possible, would you? This, this tiny little unit made by River Rossi slash Hornby International, which isn't much bigger than a few of these rocks, is moving all of that. <sighs> wow. <sighs> I just don't know what to say. This train terminates here. Please ensure that you take all your belongings with you when you leave the train. Thank you for traveling with us today.